G'day, my name is Rod Sherwin from Tap for Health. One of the most popular videos I've ever put up on YouTube was the EFT shortcut method uh, for the emotional freedom techniques, and it involves tapping on acupressure points. Now that shortcut method I use 95% of the time for all sorts of issues and have used it with hundreds of clients. But just occasionally you'll find that you're not getting the results you would expect with EFT. You're not reducing the emotional intensity of whatever issue it is you're focusing on. That's when you'd fall back to what's known as the EFT basic recipe. And this is a lot longer than the original, uh, a lot longer than the shortcut method that we use. And it accesses different more parts of your energy system and different parts of your brain. And the goal of this video is to take you through that full EFT basic recipe. So the first point we're going to tap on is the karate chop point on the side of the hand. You would start tapping there. The next point we'll move to, I like to use the top of the head next, which again wasn't part of the original EFT basic recipe, but is found to be very useful. Then you'd come down to the eyebrows, the side of the eye, under the eyes, the top lip, the chin point, the collarbone points, under the arms. If it's convenient to get to, the liver point, which if you drop down here to where a bra line would be, tap for that liver point. Good for all sorts of things like anger and resentment. Then you move to the finger points. So in my shortcut method, I would show you the inside of the wrists, but in the full EFT basic recipe, we're gonna use the finger points. And the way you find the finger points is you draw a line from the base of the nail up to the top of the thumb. So your hand is with your thumb at the top and you're going to tap on the top of that spot with one or two fingers. And then you're going to move through the finger points to the next point, same thing, draw a line up from the base of the nail to the top of the finger, tapping on that one. The middle finger, tapping there. And because we're going to come back to it and use that meridian for something else, we're actually going to skip that fourth finger and go just straight to the little, little finger there. Now the finger points can be important because we're dealing with yin and yang meridians. A lot of the meridians on the face are yang meridians, whereas a lot of the meridians on the fingers are yin meridians. Now after the little finger, we want to find the gamut point. And the gamut point, if you go between the knuckles of the ring and the little finger, come about two inches up to the back of the hand, you'll find a V point there. And this is where we do one of the even more stranger thing EFT procedures, it's called the nine gamut process. And once you find that gamut point, we're gonna continue tapping on the back of the hand while we do nine different actions that access to different parts of the brain. So while continuing to tap on that point, we're going to do a few things with the eyes to start with. We're gonna close the eyes, then open the eyes, and keeping your head steady, keeping your eyes hard down right, and then bringing them back to the middle, and eyes hard down left, and bringing them back to the middle, and again, keeping your head as steady as you can, making a big circle with your eyes, starting from the top, and circling your way all the way around, nice and slowly, but paying attention to anywhere you feel your eyes skip. Once you get to the top, you wanna to go back the other way, bringing your eyes all the way around as far as you can, you're actually accessing different parts of the brain here. So again, pay attention to anywhere they skip or it's not smooth. Then we're gonna do three more things while continuing to tap. You're gonna hum your favorite song and most people know happy birthday. So you might hum. <laughs> and then to access the left part of your brain, you'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back over to the right side of the brain. You'll hum again. <laughs> And that's the nine gamut process. And then to continue on into the full EFT basic recipe, you'll actually continue back up to the top of the head, then down to the eyebrows, and through the usual points for EFT. Down to the top lip, the chin point, collarbones, under the arms, liver point if you can get to it, and then through the fingers again, and skipping that fourth finger again, down to that little finger. So that is actually the full EFT basic recipe. And I'll just run through it again. You would start up with the setup, start off with the setup as always. 
you do your first round of the upper body points, come down to the finger points, work your way through the finger points, skip that fourth finger. Then you launch into the nine gamut process, so coming down, tapping on that gamut point, doing nine different things with your eyes, and including humming and counting to access both sides of the brain, and then continuing on through the points one more time. Through the fingers, and then you're finished a full FTE basic recipe. Now remember, you're actually including some words while you tap where you're focusing on the issue that you want to work on. So at all the time when you're tapping on a point, you'd be saying some reminder phrase or setup phrase to keep you focused on your issue. Tapping through those points by themselves make you feel a little bit better, drop some stress out of your system, but it's all about what you focus on while you tap that makes the difference. Thanks for listening.